Okay, folks, this is uh, Mr. Warmick again, and I'm back to give you another one of my famous diatribes. Okay, check me out on Low Rent on, on YouTube. Check me out on Dirty Business. Check me out on Red Herring. The Ignorant American, I'm, I'm trying to get back to that, but as you can see, I'm having a rough time doing two channels, let alone four, three and four, so get at me. Get at me at, at, at Out of Focus on, tw on Twitter. And low rent entertainment on Google Plus. Today we're going to talk about the affirmative action, the, the decision made by the Supreme Court, or the affirmative action, the ruling. I think the ruling that uh, that backs Michigan. You know, what it was is Michigan, the, the the university school system, I guess, had a ban on affirmative action for students. And uh, it was upheld by the Supreme Court, six to two. You know, it, it endorsed. Basically, it's going to endorse like others, like Texas, and there's a few other states like Utah that are going to go through this. So, th what this does is sets a precedent for them that they can go ahead and, you know, how the, how the states can ban this. Which you know, you wouldn't think you would need this. So I guess, it, you know, I mean. I, I guess the, 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 they were fighting like for this, like the people, like they were saying uh, they're trying to protect racial and ethnic minorities. But it's also a slap in the face saying that you uh, racial and ethnic minorities need this. When you look at it, it's the educational system. I mean, yes, in a perfect world, everybody should be judged as the merits of their, their what they do. But we know that is not the case. So, you know, in a way you do need it, but at the same time is... You know how 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 far can we go? I mean, it, it's you know it's banning the use. What it does is it's banning the use of race in missions to consider race neutral alternatives to ensure diversity. Now, if you want diversity, I mean, that's one thing. But like, just it's like this: if you're just going to admit a black person just to admit a black person, and what if that black person drops out? I'm not saying it does. I'm just giving you a scenario. But what if the black person drops out? Then you just proved the point to the people that were making against it. But, I mean, I know that is not the case all the time. But, uh, the justice is basically, they, they, it was 6-2, and it was, a, you know, it was basically a lot of conflicted, it was conflicted views. But in the, the majority of the justice, you know, there was varying degrees of, like, with the 6 that agreed, there was varying degrees of, you know, swaying towards one way or the other. But they said that the policies that affect the minorities do not involve Intentional discrimination. It should be decided at the like. What it was, it was vote. It was voted for the by the voters. So they're saying the voters' vote should be upheld, which is strongly contradicting the thing about gay marriage in California, Proposition Eight. But nevertheless, back to the subject at hand. Uh, but Sonia Justice Sotomayor, uh, she said, you know, the the Constitution requires several you know, special vigilance. And the light of history of slavery, Jim Crow, and discriminations to violating state voting laws. Which, again, if, if that's what she feels and that's what she said, they just took away your voting laws, too, recently. You know, it's just, I don't think it, it, that the justices didn't want to debate this too long because it's not about how about racial preferences should be resolved. You know, it, it, to me, it's like, who's going to resolve them? Should the Supreme Court have a say-so in this? I mean, I, mean, I know it's not getting to the point where it's slavery, but you never know. But uh, there's slowly, what, and here's what gets me is there's other people and myself who have talked about this, but people don't want to. Now people are talking about it because, what, it happened. It's after the fact, folks. What happened is people should be more vigilant themselves. If you know these initiatives are going to the voter box, the time to complain is not when it's in the Supreme Court. Do you realize that's more likely too late? Because you got, I mean, with the time to start doing something is a grassroots movement. The time to do something is get on the internet and start talking about it. The grassroots movement, you start in your neighborhood, you start in your block, you start in your street, you start in your house. Now, you want to wait till the Supreme Court to get it. By then, it's, it's more likely it's going to pass. So, me personally, I mean, in a perfect world, you wouldn't need this, but you do need this sometimes. It's like the workplace. I can see that if you don't, but I always been a person who worried about my job and done has done my job. So I feel I hopefully I got all, I, my job can do the, my, the merits of my work. 
But at the same time, I know everything ain't the Disney Channel either, you know what I mean? So, it's it's, it's another deterioration of your rights. And uh, in the bad part about it, you don't say nothing until after the fact. So, what are you supposed to do? If you ain't going to speak up for yourselves, I mean, everybody can't fight your own battles. Sooner or later, you got to get stand on your own too. So, I'm out of here. Peace.